hello friends so today i'm going to show you that how you can create this beautiful mock-up in photoshop so let's get started so for this project we need a beautiful background i'm going to search it on apexel.com so let's find some good wooden background Okay, so let's go with this one. Download. Also, I'm leaving the link to this image in the description. You can download it from there. Okay, so let's open Photoshop now. Okay, so now click on File, then New. Then set it to Pixels. Width would be 1920 and height would be 1080 and resolution would be 300 click create okay so first we will import the image to our canvas just by dragging and dropping then right click on the layer and click pressurize then we will duplicate the layer Then go to edit, transform and flip horizontal. Then we will align the layer. Then we will select eraser tool. Make sure hardness should be 0% and size should above 500 pixels. And remove the duplicate layer like this. As you can see uh, both images are blended with each other so now we will merge both layers just just select both layers then click merge layers then just make it a little bit bigger we will transform it go to edit then click transform then go to rectangle tool Draw a rough rectangle. Make it center and also and make a duplicate layer and name it as a stroke. As we are going to use this layer later, so we will going to hide it for a while. Select rectangle layer. Just double click on it to change the color. So I'm choosing grey color, its color code is 1A, 1A, 1A. So to make it look like a slate, we will apply filter to it. Go to filter, select filter gallery. So click on convert to smart object so that we can edit it later if needed. Select smudge stick and make sure intensity should be zero. Click OK. Now we will unhide our stroke layer. We will select the rectangle tool and make fill to transparent just by selecting this icon. We will fill the stroke with solid color. I am going to use this orange color tone. Its color code is DA6006. And make thickness to 20 pixel. Let's make it a little bit bigger just by transform it. You can transform it by pressing Ctrl plus T. Now select both layer and put them into the group just by pressing Ctrl G. We will again transform our group just by pressing Ctrl plus T. We will slightly tilt it and also make it a bit large. Now go to the stroke layer, right click on it, then go to blending option. So here I am going to add pattern to our stroke layer. So I will select the pattern overlay. Make sure you have selected the fourth pattern. Now 
make blend mode to overlay and make scale to about 95 percent now let's change blend mode to multiply yes this is fine now we will add some bevel and embossing to our stroke layer click on the bevel and emboss make sure style should be inner bevel make depth to 100% size to 7 pixels and soften should be 0 also make sure direction should be up click ok now we will add some inner shadow to our rectangle layer right click on it click on blending option go to inner shadow make opacity to 70% change blend mode to normal uh, distance to 15 pixel and size to about 50 pixel click ok Now select the group layer and right click on it, go to blending option, click on drop shadow to make shadow to our whole group. Change blend mode from multiply to normal, make opacity to 60%, make distance to about 25 pixel, spread should be 0 and make size to 40 pixel let's change opacity to 70 percent yeah it's fine now. now what we are going to do is to duplicate our drop shadow layer style we will just click on this plus icon we will select the below drop shadow layer and make size to 60 pixel and distance to about 40 pixel now we will again do the same duplicate it select the below one and make distance to 60 pixel and size to 70 pixel click ok as you can see we made a beautiful shadow to our slate We are completed with our design so now we are going to put text on it. Let's make a rough rectangle. Like this. Right click on our layer and click on convert to smart object. Make opacity to 70%. Now go to edit, transform, click on distort. So here we will join the edges to our slate like this. click tick button now make opacity back to 100 now we are all done with the design we will right click on the smart object layer click edit content it will take us to the another canvas so here we will hide a rectangle layer so this is your canvas where you can put your any design or text to appear on your slate. Select text button. Write whatever you want to write. It could be your name or anything else. Make it center. So I'm I'm using steadfast font for this text. You can use any font. 
let's make it a little bit large make color to yellow it's all depend upon your creativity you can do anything with your text or design now the important thing is to save this layer when you will save this layer it will automatically update your design to the slate to make it more realistic let's add noise to our design go to filter noise and click on add noise Make sure uniform should be selected. Also check the monochromatic. Make amount to 40%. Click OK. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video then hit like button and also subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one. Bye bye.